Hello, my name is Randy Schaefer. I'm with Casa Grande Public Works. I'm an engineering tech. I help with the drainage as well as the MS4 for the city. We work hard every day to continue to manage our water resources through upgrading our reclamation processes, as well as controlling point source pollution in the city. One of the big things that you can see behind me here is the North Branch Santa Cruz. We work um, diligently because all of the drainage for the city of Casa Grande, for the most part, runs to the North Branch Santa Cruz. So throughout the year, we monitor, we take samples of our water to make sure that we're not polluting it, keeping the chemicals out of the water. If we are able to identify a chemical, we do try to trace that back so we can eliminate it and protect our water resources. As you go down the North Branch, we do have a managed recharge area where we are trying to refill our aquifers to make sure every drop counts in our water system. To that point, we are getting involved in the Santa Cruz Watershed Collaborative down in Tucson. They are doing some groundbreaking research right now to restore flows to the Santa Cruz on a consistent basis. Uh, they are recharging shallow aquifers to keep that water flowing year round. And we are doing our best to learn about that process and how they're accomplishing it to hopefully, if it is at all possible, to restore that here. Um, no promises, no guarantees though. We're doing our best and we want to protect every drop that we can. So that water collects in multiple different drainage paths. Uh, we have some underground, some above ground, and it is all collected to the North Branch Santa Cruz. Uh, there, like I said, there are multiple outflows across the city uh, that are monitored. We actually do have some areas that we are looking to address due to flooding. As the river changes shape, uh, it narrows down, widens out, that changes the flow of the river. And then as we develop and we add more non-permeable structure to the city, water actually flows faster. And the faster the water flows, the more damage it does. So it's great that we're getting the water to the wash, but we also still need to keep in mind and be cognizant of how fast we're putting it there to protect our embankment through natural vegetation and other means that are being researched as we speak. So one of the things that we can do to help prevent that erosion is leave the vegetation on the ground. When you're out ATVing uh, on those side-by-sides, don't go out there and tear up the, the grass and bushes that are out there because that actually helps get more water into the ground and keep our aquifer being recharged. One of the things that is super, super important is maintenance on your vehicle. Yeah, a lot of people don't think about it, but when you're driving down the road and you have that little oil leak from that 300 plus thousand mile vehicle, which is awesome that you're able to keep that thing going that long, uh, but those oil leaks do eventually make it into our washes antifreeze leaks, make it into our washes. Uh, when you're washing your car, try to contain that soap, clean that up off the ground. Don't let it flow to our storm drains because we only want rain in the storm drains. Those soaps, those oils, detergents, all of that stuff ends up getting into our wash and can cause pollution. As well as don't drain your pool into the street. Uh, it is actually illegal. Uh, there is a code, code 18, uh, it is illegal to drain to the street for your pool and it causes a lot of issues from flooding to picking up all of those chemicals and stuff that are sitting on the roadway as that chlorine will really bring that out of the concrete and the asphalt and move it more of it to the wash where we eventually have to potentially treat it. If we compromise this waterway, we only get two here in Casa Grande. So if we compromise it, it'll be a lot of work and a lot of taxpayer money to get that back to where it needs to be. And that's something that the community has to be responsible for. We will do our part, monitor and do everything that we can, but we need you to do your part in helping maintain and protect that resource.